want to start this off because I feel like number one, uh, people know who Roland Ray is. If they, people don't know who Roland Ray is, then they're gonna soon find out who Roland Ray is. We got Roland Ray right now on Big Mouth Media. She rocking with Pair of Paper right now in this exclusive live and direct interview. You know what I'm saying? It's about to go down in a major way. Come on. How, how you doing today? Let me ask you, how was your day today? My day was actually so stressful. Mm. Mm. To be so bomb and pretty and doored up how I am is just stressful because I was supposed to release my new single diss track against the late-ass queen, Santana. Ooh. But We're going to talk about it. Right. We're going to talk about it. <laughs> God's plan didn't go into effect just yet. Her. Absolutely, absolutely. Now look, now I, I I'll be honest with you. When I when I was told, I was like, you know what? This is a Rolling Ray interview right here. This is exclusive, and I know that you rocking with Big Mouth Media hard. And I just want to say I really appreciate you for rocking with the movement, rocking with the platform. You know what I'm saying? If people don't know, you already done an interview with us before. You know what I'm saying? But we circling back around for a reason this time. Right. The best always come back. And you're gonna see me again next year. You will see me again until every year after that. Because Big Mouth Media is like family at this point. And whatever they need, I'm going to be there. Her. Absolutely. Hey, per, hey, look, am I saying it right? Per. Per. You said it right. You said it right. <laughs> Stop <laughs> playing with me. Hey, look. Hey, listen, the reason why I feel like I said it right, because it just it resonates with my name, Pair and Paper Per. Exactly. It it makes you seem like a well, not seem because you are a, a rich guy, but you it makes you look even more richer. I take that indeed, indeed, indubitably. So look, diving right into. I want to kind of go ahead and dive on into it, uh, because I, I just feel like now I want people to understand that this is really we're gonna clear the way right now because twenty twenty one is coming in, and all we need is positive vibes from here on out, right? Right. Right. So, look, my first question is, um, what kind of opportunities have you had since increasing your social media, and um, has it been fair for you? I had a lot of opportunities. Um, we was just focused on doing a reality show called Keeping Up with the Witches. Not per se that title, but it was going to be something in that nature with that title. Where is though we're gonna go from DC to New York to Miami to LA and ever you know cities and states, bring in the top ten underdogs, big dogs, people in wheelchairs, including myself. Um, I was gonna be the biggest star on the show, but um, this wasn't even because of um, Quran or COVID, nothing like that that stopped everything. It just wasn't God's plan. Not saying that the ta- the offers off the table, but. We just ain't seeing eye to eye right now. And Absolutely. Right. No, nah, that makes sense. Now, nah, listen, like, I tell people all the time, like, if if you don't learn something from everything that's been going on, yeah. like, if you don't learn that, you got to understand that timing is really everything. Everything. I learned that from a little Kim. Timing is everything. Um, Beyonce told me timing is everything. And just how people thought I didn't know Beyonce, and they always used to be in the shade room comments. Shout out to the shade room, by the way. Yeah, yeah, we're going we to dive into it. I got you, Roller Ray. We're going to listen. You live and direct with prayer and paper right now. So, they, trust me, I got you. But I got to ask you this right here, though. Just kind of bring it back for a minute. Um, Like, the opportunity's been coming, but are they adding up? And, um, like, do people expect you to do, like, certain work for free? Yes. A lot of people, not per se for free, people expect... People think that you're supposed to just be a slave. And see, about me, her attempt ain't taking me to the North Star to leave me there. I'm not going to be a slave for anybody. And the thing is, I'm, I'm all about partnership. I'm all about family. I'm all about helping everyone, especially friends and networks. I like to be on camera. I'm beautiful. I'm that bitch. I'm the most famous boy in the wheelchair. But nothing is free. It can be free if you talk the right language and it comes with something at the end, you know. But nothing is free. So what I'm trying to say is, um, 
the opportunities that I have been getting, they're not so, so much as of whatever I want you to do for free, but the main people uh, I want to get into is Fox. So recently we had a very heated discussion on Instagram. A producer from Fox Go reached out to me and asked me, said, Wait a minute, can you please um, come on the show? Because they had just got finished discussing what happened between me and Sam Turner. Okay. And I, didn't, I didn't really want to, you know, you know, go on there at first, but I wanted to defend myself. So I accepted the offer. So we got into the last, you know, sentence, which is, okay, is there anything you're going to pay? Well, they said at their own mouth, we don't pay our guests. So you're telling me Romeo Miller, all these big stars who's coming on there, going on there for free? Well, I understand why, in a way. They've been there, done that. But I'm only 24. Let me get a chance to fill the paper also. Let me get a chance to invest. Let me get a chance to splurge and see the pros and cons. I understand that Fox so could bring me opportunities because I had people in the comments and the fake pages, always fake pages, always saying, oh, when I'm ready, you should just take the opportunity. Um, you never know what it could bring you. I know what it could bring me. It could bring me more publicity. Baby, I am the pub and the publicity at this point. Oh, this shit! And the thing is, people be forgetting that I'm the most famous boy in the wheelchair, so it's no one ever like me right now. So it's like, just how Little Kim was the only rap bitch in 96, holding up the chart. Roland Ray is the only motherfucking rap bitch in a wheelchair, holding up the tube. And so I have to let these bitches know how I'm coming. And if I sit there and let them lowball me, they want to keep doing that. Because what happens is, what people don't know is, these people sit at the same tables. And they say, who's going to do what for what percentage? So if they sit at the table, Roland Ray told me to do free, what you think they're going to let other people producers know he's going to do it for free? And what they're going to come to me with? Free. I want to get nothing but opportunities. But when it's time to pay that rent, or when it's time to get out, get out of landlord and tenant court, which I've been there several times in the past doing that, it's like, um, I can't put opportunities on that deadline. I need residual income. So I had to let Fox so know that I just couldn't do it, and I respectfully declined their offer, and I had to move on. Say no more, and look, say no more. Now, now, just off of that right there, that lets people know that you ain't, you ain't number one, you're not full of shit. Mm -hmm. You're smart. You know, you know exactly what the fuck is going on. Excuse my right. face. Are you good? Nah, I, yeah, you know what I'm saying? But also, it is one of the things where, like, you know your worth. It's not about even knowing your work, it's about knowing yourself. Because I want my, my children to look back in the future and look back at this interview, which they are. They don't have to say, wait, my daddy or my mom it was on this with Big Mouth Media. And, and 20 years from now, Big Mouth Media may have their own building. <laughs> in the city. And I was a part of Big Mouth Media before they had that. So Big Mouth Media would know how I'm coming 20 years from now when I'm in my 40s going on my late fifties and I say, oh well I need this and that and third. They wouldn't understand how I what I bring to the table and respect that he's not going to do it for free. Absolutely. Absolutely. Say no more. Say no more. Now listen, since, since we're gonna put some more respect on your name, I kind of want to just dive in about the whole now, now people know about this guy right here. They know like a lot of people don't really want smoke with this guy from the time he came in the game. Mm -hmm. Now, it's one of them things where it's like, yo, he's already petty. You know, he's already like King Petty on IG. Right. So I said, wait, wait, wait. Roland Ray, it, it, it's a little bit of smoke that's in the air right now. Roland Ray and 50 Cent. Can you please let them be like, can I please know personally what's the whole situation on that? So, it wasn't really a big situation. It, it grew okay. up on the shade room, which I love the shade room. I'm rocking my shade room bamboo, see that thing so okay. red, red and black. But look, the thing was this. He had Megan Thee Stallion fucked up because the bitch just had got shot at her motherfucking foot. And the thing is, Megan is a young bitch out here. She just popped out in the game. She just got bamboozled out of her management contract. Shit, you sitting on bitch and trillions. Why would you ever take 30 seconds out of your day to make a mem 
to make it seem like she's longing or is a kiki car car, like everything is funny. So I had to speak up for Megan because none of the other artists that I've seen was actually doing it. May have been a few, and if I'm missing your name and I didn't speak with you, if you ever watched the interview, I love you. But the thing is, I can't see it, and so <laughs> you hear me? It's like Megan, I got your motherfucking back, bitch. Like I don't know fuck what's going on, Megan, bitch, but. We may not ever cross paths yet, but you seen me around, and I seen you around, and you know what the fuck is going on. Fuck this shit! And so, I try to tell these bitches, I got your motherfucking back, Megan, and Sticky ain't gonna motherfucking play with you. I, 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 look, 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 and I roll, roll, and listen, listen, listen. Now, we've been rocking this whole entire time, but right now, this for the people right now, between me and you, do you really feel like this situation with Megan and Tori, do you really feel like he shot her in the foot? Well, and, and look, look now, you won't break my minutes so you can't sit the cold shit. I need, I need okay. truth. Okay, I'm gonna give you it, okay? So, I will take a shot of Tim Dog. Come on, wait a minute, shot, you ready? Okay. Let's take a shot. Purr. Purr, purry, purr. Purr. Exactly. That means the papers is crazy, y'all. Y'all better get him. So, so look. The thing is, is that in this business, you just never know because it's two sides to every story. Right. I do believe something transpired, but I'm not for sure. Nobody knows. So I will say this. If he did shoot her and he's making music out here, they're crazy. Now let's get into the business part of this all. Let's get to it. Because I'm in the entertainment industry. So look, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a Virgo, I'm, I'm real. I sit back in that disciple, which is what he meant, in my Nicki Minaj voice, which I just got cool with her. Okay? The thing is this, if they both came to, because in my eyes, my moon sign is a Gemini, my, my, my rising sign is a Cancer, but my star sign is a Virgo, I'm a Virgo. So I had two sides to me. Now this side is like rolling right, this could be a publicity side. This could be them in the entertainment industry, like, okay, let's put these two big artists who was at a point in time dating, let's make something happen. Shoot her in the foot, or just have somebody shoot at her, and then they both sell music. Because it's, it's, it's quite ironic how Megan dropped the album, Tori dropped the album. Everything is back to back. The, the, I won't say the Illuminati, I don't really believe in stuff like that, but I will say the white man works, and the black girls twerk. And so what I'm trying to say is, it could be A, or it could be B. They really was really going through something. And he actually shot her, and Tori's playing the victim, and Tori's acting like, oh, he didn't do it, and Megan really got shot. That's why I really felt bad for Megan. Okay. But I, I, can't, I can't really say it right now. I have to I keep bitches. It, it, it's in the air right now. It's kind of in the air. I, I get it. I get it. I, get, I just kind of want to side note. I kind of kind of want to know your point of view on that. You know what I'm saying? But I appreciate you kind of displaying that because I can't go against the grain of what you said because I kind of felt the same way. It's like I can I can say it and feel how I want to feel about it. But at the very end of the day, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. So right. I, I rather just kind of continue to work my move, work the journey that God got kind of intended for me. And right. then whatever happens, happens. They'll hear it on Big Mouth Media. But they're going to hear it right now with Roller Ray. This is the most famous boy in a wheelchair. Purr. Come on, y'all. So look, listen. I, I feel like this right here was a big moment. I want to see how you feel about this now. So how did you feel about getting nominated, you know what I'm saying, for the same room for the Clap Back Award for the year? Like, I, like how do you feel about that? <laughs> you already I see you over there. What, what's up? Talk to me. I was really excited because for one, I didn't look at myself as a clapback queen or king. I look at myself as being authentic, real, and I can't stand up for, for what I mean, but mm -hmm. you kill these motherfucking wheels with your motherfucking foot. And that's Absolutely. And so, I had to let these bitches know. Santana, I let that bitch know. Masika, I let that bitch know. Bobby Lights, let that bitch know. I let all these bitches know. I let Nicki Minaj know. I let um all these bitches be knowing how the fuck I'm coming. Fifty know. Everybody just know how I'm coming. So they sit back and say, "Damn, this nigga in the wheelchair pops so much shit." I don't pop shit. I am the shit. 
I'm from D.C. I don't see cameras and white lights every day. We see sirens and murder and mayhem. And we see people out here trying to make it. And we see people out here trying to, you know, make it do what they do. So when Shavram nominated me as that, I was so excited because not only do you give a mad these bitches who's at the top, because they know who the best is, they also woke these bitches up. And I want to congratulate and thank all of my fans who voted for me, all of the fake pages who went against me, and all of my motherfucking family who never showed me love, and my family who is showing me love behind the scenes. And Ms. Ruth Manuel, love y'all. And Shavram, I love y'all too. But to sum that up, that question up, I'm going to win. And if I don't win, it's going to go the fuck down. But I'm going to win. But I want to just say this. This, this was the first Shave Room Awards. Year two, I will be in another category as best new artist or up and coming new artist. I'm claiming it. And it's going to go from there. Um, I don't I don't every day and be like, oh, I want to go in Shave Room. No. Shave Room is a big, 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 big media blog, just like Big Mouth Media is. And Big Mouth Media may take over that one day. You just never know. But what I'm trying to say is they know that black people need to be accepted and they accepted me for who I am. So I love them so much over at the Shave Room. Yeah. Hey, I appreciate you. I, 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 yo, for real, for real, like, that really did a lot. And also, like, the Shave Room, I want to give a big shout out to Angelica. You know what I'm saying? She's a black queen. That's one of that damn platform. Make it my, right. That's one of right. the big right. statements, okay? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's really, you know what I'm saying? So I definitely want to give a big shout out to her because, like, yo, 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 beat me up, my queens, y'all winning. Perry Pay, we'll let y'all know y'all winning. Hey, for you, boys. Y'all winning too. Big Mouth Media is definitely winning too. Yeah, you know, we, hey, look, we coming alive in the nighttime. Exactly, exactly. So look, yeah, go, go ahead and take a little sip right now. Take a little sip. Take a little sip. I'm going to wear a couple of spoons. Put a little spicy tonight. My fans are really wondering why I'm not drinking a lot of liquor. It's because I'm expecting maybe. Um, <laughs> oh, wait, oh, wait, 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 Stop! Did I just do it? Hold You expecting a baby? Expecting a baby. I'm three months pregnant. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding, y'all. I'm, I'm trying to get myself together. I was like, this is a heart attack over here. I, 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 I didn't know. I didn't know which way to go. I, I'll be honest with you. I was, I was okay. baffled. Okay, no. I'm actually glowing more. Uh, I'm getting myself together, but I like the liquor, but. I'm partaking in everything to bring the beauty out of me. And what's happening is, I love, my favorite alcohol is Kindle. But at this point, we're going to sip on it. But by the end of this interview, it's going to be gone. Please. Stop me. Say no more. So look, Roll and Ray, let's talk about the music, if you don't mind. I, I kind of want to dive into the music because I feel like, uh, I mean, just off of like me following you and also seeing how passionate you are about the music, and I'm all about music. I'm also a DJ as well. So I, I really want to... How long have you been DJing, Paper? I've been DJing for like literally seven months. Through the whole COVID, I've self-taught myself how to DJ because I told myself, I said, in order for me to open up certain doors that I personally want to go in, I have to do it by myself. So I knew being able to be in control of the music was going to be the way for me as pair paper. I had to make it happen. So I said, you know what? I'm going to invest in my equipment. I'm going to invest in speakers. Her. I'm going to invest in my internal hard drive. And I'm going to get this shit rocking. Seven months. Listen, listen. Seven months, I cleared my equipment costs in two months. Her friend. And I'm I put around with it. And, oh, and, and that's why I asked you how long because it's not just always about the person, the artist. You never know what the next person was interviewing you was going through, what they got coming, or their daily routine. So that's why I wanted to ask you because one day you may be DJing for me. And I may throw you a bag, so you never know how I work. So you never know how I work, but I'm going to tell you this. By the way. Okay. Congratulations. 
So look, let, let's talk about the music now. I know, let, let's go back for a minute. Um, I want to know, like, with the, the first track that you put out, and I also want to know about the album that was supposed to come out. I want to know first what what happened. I ain't going to say what happened, because I feel like that makes you feel like you were pretty cool when you really know what happened. A lot of shit happened in 2020, you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of things stopped. Right. So let me ask this. Let me, let me reword this right here. Mm-hmm. Um, did COVID play a part in some of your music not coming out in 2020? No. No. Okay, let's keep going. I, I barely even went. Never mind. They're going to run with that. Um, I, I barely did. Never mind. I barely did. I barely did close. Okay. Like, Rewind it. Bam. Um, no. COVID didn't play. I call it Corona. Corona didn't play a big part in anything because what played a big part in it is that I'm focused on. Reality TV. I'm focused on my home. I'm focused on, and these niggas will be acting crazy. I act crazy. Uh, I'm focused on my mom. She's crazy. Best friends, friendships is acting. All my friends just be coming at me all at once. You know, I be dealing with stuff. But the music, I could have gave you guys an album. I could have been on the iTunes charts right now. I didn't want to this year. Is that honest to God true? Sure to God. Yeah, I believe you. I believe you. Nobody deserved an album for me this year. And I say that to say it wasn't time. If I was look at now for you. Look at Raw Wave. Raw Wave didn't get any Grammys yet. But Raw Wave, everybody's screaming Raw Wave. Everybody loved Raw Wave. They cried to him. I love me some Raw Wave. I feel as if I would have put out an album, it wasn't really appreciated yet. So, I have to wait until I, God said, put it out there. Before I know it's time. I'm coming for Grammys. I'm coming for... Come on now! Trying to fix the light back that day. It was, I was beautiful right there. Come on now! Huh. Look, back, a little bit more this back. <laughs> hey, look! Tell my man to get you right over there. Get, get the angels right. <laughs> That's fine. That's good. I think you're fine. But get the angels right. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's because I love this my thing. Like this is my favorite thing. But look, the thing was is that Raw Wave is a. I think he's the greatest artist of 2020. They gave Pop Smoke an award over Raw Wave this year, which was totally. Disrespectful. It was beyond disrespectful. But I understand that, you know, he just got part of had some, some some good tones too. But rightfully so, in my opinion, I've always deserved it. So back to your question about the music. Album, you guys didn't deserve it. Smashed it back up. 2021, you may get it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I am coming out with um supposed to be two new singles before 2020 is supposed to end. But something happened about that. Okay, yeah, no, but listen, I tell you this. This is what I tell you. Um, just somebody that's like you know that's a pacemaker. You know what I'm saying? That's moving and shaking. Uh, radio personality and all of that. I will tell you right now what you're doing right now, Roland Ray. Uh, you, you, it's perfect timing. Everything like what you telling the people right now. That listen, if they don't understand, they'll get it later. Old folks told me that you must get an old soul. Hey, listen, listen, my grandma, 90 years old, she's still living. I'm going to be at 86. And, okay. Yeah, and so she, I have an old soul. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and, absolutely. Absolutely. And I, I, I tell you this right here. Um, Despite, like, the, the questions that I'm going to ask from mm-hmm. here on out, mm-hmm. none of it really matters because it's all about the journey. You got to respect the process of this shit. Yeah, you do. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Now, look, now, look. Now, can we expect like uh, like a, a name of the song, like the name of the album? Let me say, can 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 Big Mouth we didn't get like a title or we gotta wait on it? No, I can give you a title I was coming up with. Um, okay. The title, the title was going to be, it was Per, which was so authentic but so just like I put it out. I'm like that's not enough. Um, it was either me Per, Rolling Ray. I ain't gonna write, but you know, I would be named Per. Or it's gonna be um, D 
DC legend. Um, I am a okay. DC legend. And I had to take that out of there because I didn't do, do much as I want to in DC yet. Um, took that title out of there. So those are the two titles, Per or DC Legend. Yeah. That's dope. That's dope. And you know what? Speaking of legend, I, I will say this right here tonight. This is no cap. Like, this is no bullshit right here. Um, I was on, I was on somebody live the other night and um DMV News, and, and and I was on this live and he was saying, look. I don't care what you say. If you come to DC, you got to tap in with Rolling Ray. Now, now, now. Did I don't know. You said, huh? Did you listen? You said that about me. He said it. Listen, oh. that this is what he said. Now, like I ain't about to. We can go back on live and we can we can hear this because I heard this. Yeah. So when he said that, I was like, wow, like a Kawinky Dink. Um, that I was on his live, and I knew that I was going to be doing an interview with you uh, today, and also just hearing that um, out of all the times I've been on everybody lives throughout the day, it's like, well, damn, man, like it's it, it's some it's some meaning behind that, you know what I'm saying? So I, I do believe, like you know, by you using the word legend, uh, speak it. I mean, no one they, they can't take that away from you. Right. People call themselves the king. People call themselves the queen. People call themselves uh, the mayor, the president of uh, they state, and they don't even got no near, nowhere near qualifications. So why why not be a, a, a living legend right now? So the roses go to you. I, you know, DMV hoods and news. Shout out to I'm gonna just say this about them. My little thing. We had our ups and downs. Absolutely, like 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 friendships. We're not friends. Um, we would, we're not friends yet. One day, now yeah, I love you crazy paper. Paper, you talking crazy. <laughs> Look, the thing is this. Then because the news started from the bottom, from 10K to 100K. I respect them. The only thing I just, it don't sit right sometimes with me is that talk to me, holler at me, communicate with me. Ask me how my day is going. Ask me when I approve you posting certain things. I gotta give a fuck if I don't. But it just let me see a preview of which so I can help you out sometimes because I don't promote them a lot because it's just like bitch, like talk to me. You talk to all these other hood niggas, you be on live with them, you promote them a lot, come holler at me. Come you know what I'm saying? I can push you on to something so great. That could push you on to something so great. And so I, I love the other than those first that he respect them. What I'm trying to say is this. I do thank him for saying that. And I can call myself the king of DC, but they don't give that. Not right like, now, because that's how you die. That's how you fucking <laughs> 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 shit, yo. <laughs> you don't even understand. You're setting yourself up for failure. Failure to appear. <laughs> Hey, look, you ain't never lie. You ain't never lie. No, for real. <laughs> Maybe even calling yourself the queen, which I know a girl by the name of DC Stay. She's she calls herself the queen of DC, which she kind of is. But I will say this: I don't want titles like that because it's going to be a a a, a body, an able body. So everyone, oh, he right there sitting at that front of school. He the king of what? Let me see if he really the king of what. I ain't gonna ride up on you and hop out shoot you. I don't wanna be a part of that right now. So look, mm-hmm. so look, so look, I, I feel you on that. I, I completely feel you on that. Like mm-hmm. that's one of the things like I trust me, I, I get it. Mm-hmm. I really this yeah, right. Oh, oh, are you sipping? What you, you sipping? Let me, yeah. let me let me let me take a little sip real quick. Hold like that. You wanna get real juicy now. <laughs> For a friend. Mm-hmm. All right, so look. I feel like everybody knows about it, of course. You know what I'm saying? I know I'm pretty, I'm, I'm not saying nothing new right now, but at the same time, we're clearing the way because 2021 is on its way and we need to get it on out the way. So I, I do want to ask you about this because it's kind of like a hot topic and everybody been, you know, kind of following this story and it's been getting a lot of, but, getting a lot of buzz. We got a little, little, little look. So I got to ask you, um, how did the situation, like, 
pop off um, with you and JT and, and, and also uh, Santana? Like, what, what, what transpired and also go ahead and just put a, a conclusion to it. I will say. Some of that in about maybe okay. two to three minutes. Why not? Why, why not? It's just, it, I feel as though it's going to go more than what it is throughout the future. I'm not saying that I'm trying to eat off that cloud. But I won't be asked this a thousand times. And so I'm, I'm going to give y'all the realness, okay? For Fuck shit. I just feel as though um, Santana is a gay artist. This is how I, how I am. Um, he see me popping. I see him popping. I like some of his songs. Even when I like any of my songs. I'm not... I'm not I'm no hater. I can't be a hater, especially when you're from D.C. I can't be that. What I'm trying to say is, when it all occurred, Santana had responded to a, um, a tweet on Twitter, and somebody compared him and said something about I could be his brother or something. Yeah, something to Right, and he responded and said, oh, but don't play with me or just some something off the wall. So everybody, something where it kind of it, it, it was like a, a negative vibe towards you. Obviously. Right, like, a, like you right, like a shady ice cube. Right. So as I'm sitting in my house, I was hot as shit. Like I said, I was hot as shit. I was hot as Cooley Brown. I be thinking sometimes I'm gonna pass out and die. How I do sometimes. But I was hot as Cooley Brown. And so um, I'm in the house, and I'm on Twitter, I'm, and then bang, I see it. People mentioning me, I see it. So I'm like, bro, I'm very deep. At that moment, and you know, I'm be honest with you guys, God said, do you want to respond? And the devil said, eat his ass up. But God said, one more time, do you want to respond? And the devil said, you know how you have two angels for you? Yeah, you got, yeah, you got a right, you got a left. <laughs> So he like that would like eat him up. So me being so young, I'm only 24, just turned 24. I got a lot to learn. I want to take this time to apologize to myself, apologize to my fans, and apologize to my mom because I said it to Good. say that. Some things don't need a response. And I'm learning that because people twist and turn and twist and turn and twist and turn. But everything is God's plan. But listen, we'll begin to what you asked me. Okay? Um, I responded to the tweet. The guy that I said, I went off. I was acting crazy. Shade recorded. Big Mouth Media recorded. Jersey Hills and News caught it. Say Cheese caught it. Hollywood a lot caught it. All the people caught it. So when they all caught it, it brought more buzz. Not saying that's what I want. I have a big platform anyway. The Come fans, the fans is already eating it up. It may it seem like I'm looking for clout from him. And I want to just reiterate this. That bitch ain't got no motherfucking more clout than me. Her. I, my first debut was on MTV Catfish Trolls 2017, reality TV. Number one. Number two, I was on Divorce Court 2019, best episode, and the next day, what the fuck was they talking about? If it's, if it's a walker on the old bones, what they walking about? Let's Come on now! <laughs> Talk that shit! <laughs> I didn't want to do this, but this bitch gonna make me feel her. But look, I'm trying <laughs> to say this. I had to get as close to being gay. I'm sorry. It's my future kids watching this 10 years from now. Baby girl, I'm sorry. I fucked him up there. See that? I fucked him up. JT popped in it. I'm about to say, yo, like, we got to get to this one. How, like, now, 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 50 Cent is one. Like, like you know, you don't got all the smoke. Like, you told 50, you're not fucking playing around. Now you with JT, you know, she, she pop her shit, too. So it's like, let's talk about it now. 
Clear it up. I don't see a blue check mark. I don't even got that on my Instagram. I don't got that on my Twitter. But guess who's the most talked about? Rolling Red. Guess who's still going to be the most talked about? Rolling Red. Who's the only one in which you're doing this? Rolling Red. I don't need a... When I get my blue check, it's going to be up and stuff. Now, I'm going up against two big bitches who got blue checks, millions of fans, and a major fan base. Her. So, JT hopped in it because she's a, a dumbass bitch at that point in time. The Reese Cups, she's, she's a beautiful girl. I guess she lost her Reese Cup when she put that bleach to her face and she started forgetting that she was black. So, what I'm trying to say is, she hopped in the wrong beef, bitch. Mind your business. You are a female bitch. Stay in a female's place. How y'all try to tell us, are you a faggy or you gay? Don't, um, you know, don't go back and forth with females or don't fight females. At that point in time, bitch, mind your business. What happened was Santana released his new anticipated. Wait, it was a nine. Was it? No, it wasn't. It was, it was a surprise. Surprise. Balloons popping in. Boobs. Uh huh. He released Walk um, a week later after we got into the Twitter beef. Um, coincidence or not? What do you think, Mr. Papers? Coincidence or not? Let me ask you. What do you uh, listen, listen, listen. Don't shoot the messenger, but it, it, it do. It, I mean, it kind of do add up a little bit. I don't know. As an artist, let me break it down to you. As an artist, it takes a week to release a song. Right, absolutely. <laughs> JT said that he then wrote that song. We was on live together. Of course, I'm not going to take that from him. But did he go back and fix some shit? He could have, as an artist, he had eight other songs that you can release. Like, as a DJ, you got eight other beats that you can re release at a later party. You don't have to release all eight beats at that one party. Right. You could have released any other song, but you pick Walk. And in that, in that song, you said, let me see if you can walk. You talking all that shit, some shit, but let me see if you can walk. A week later, that song comes out after you just got on tour. Of course, my fans, your fans is going to anticipate. That's a rolling way, this. It's God, I mean, that makes sense. Like, we not going, like, listen, we not going to sugarcoat shit. Like, we, we done seen yeah. a lot of different beefs and this, this, and all of that. That kind of just adds up. Like, it just, it, it, it just makes perfect sense. Like, we not going to be or we ain't got enough evidence to prove it. Like, fuck that. This is rap. This is like, like, shit that just makes sense. Thank you. And Mr. Papers ain't just taking up for me. No, he no, 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 I'm not. But I'm, I'm, I'm calling a spade a spade because I'm, I'm number one, I'm live and direct. Like, I always be that. And you on Big Mouth, so I have to keep it, keep it focused. I, so I, I really think that that was part of if it wasn't towards you, it was some inspiration behind it that you was part of. I like this interview. I love you back there, boy. I like, you my favorite. Um, I love you two papers. You I'm favorite. here! Because you know what? Real, and this is why I came here and did this motherfucker interview. Because the shit had to be motherfucking seen. It and had to be seen! Exactly. This gonna be done. We can be going into a million views. I'm gonna put him up this motherfucker or through the motherfucker Instagram. Cause these bitches need to stop playing with me, motherfucker. Stop playing. Stop playing. Yeah. <laughs> now look, now look, now I, I, this is what I would say for all of that to kind of sum it up because I don't, I don't want to really give it too much of energy because right. in, all, in all reality, it seems like, you know, um, you respect Santana on a music level where you, you heard some of the songs, you like it. You say you stop. Even props. Let me tell you something. What, what what went wrong in this game? We had rappers who started writing subliminals. Back in the 90s. I, I, I'm a 90s kid. They didn't have that. Not saying that I was around that era, but I seen it. My mother told me, my grandmother told me, the 90s all about that. We went in the alley, Slim, bar for bar, we had a 50 shit. We had a thousand on this rap song. That's how it used to be. Nowadays, people got to take a whole week to go put together a conjuring spell just to go vanquish some demons. Well, guess what? I'm no demon. I'm God's child. I'm an angel. And bitch, your potions don't work for me. Start off. That's why I'm here 
to let him know this. Like, I'm going to tear you down my way or I'm going to take the highway. Now, listen, Mr. Papers. Talk this shit. I'm going to say this. The main person I respect because the city girls watching me, they stand on their bed, drunk as shit, popping perks, um, you know, drinking their liquor, you know, doing them how we all be doing. You know, them bitches out there, booted and cooted, getting their pussy ate like real bitches do. Come on now. Point is, we all is going to watch this interview on Big Mouth Media. They're going to see it. Her. Now, listen, I respect Carisha. Carisha really minded her mother effing business. And I respect that because she didn't jump on Santana's back. Because you know why? She knew the game. She knew what was going on. JT just got out of here off the house of rest. So she itching for a buzz. She loved the shave room. She lived, uh, 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 you see, there's a such thing as too much publicity. And her time is going to come with that prettiness ain't going to get you nowhere, sweetheart. It's going to be what's up here. Now what's down there. Y'all never seen my ASS, but y'all hear my mouth. Exactly. That sales. I can easily get out of this wheelchair and show it when my mother burst on me. It's not that time yet. Three years from now, yeah. Not now. So listen. What I'm trying to say is, I respect Carisha, no matter her motherfucking business. JT tried to take up for her friend because she wanted to hit the shade room. She wanted some more buzz because they just came out with some new songs. Um, their record label is crumbling and fumbling with Lil' Fruit. Um, oh, you talking about, oh, you talking about her quality control? You see, it's crumbling with Lil' Fruit. Yeah, really bad. They got big artists, but guess what? They're under labels. Labels is like slave men's work, okay? You work for them. So you don't get $20 million in one day. You get one, two, and, and a little purse and some CPNs, and you meet, you meet rich niggas. That's all you do. You're not really that bitch out here. You get snug. You're not independent. What I'm trying to say is I'm none of the sorts. That's why God is in me on this pulpit and sitting me up in front of Big Mouth Media to let you bitches know that I'm the one, not the two. That's why Nikki is perm now. That's why Lil' Kim is swearing now. My mother, I love Lil' Kim. And that's why Beyonce is sending me those clothes because everybody knows. Hey, look, 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 wait, 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 wait. You talking your shit right now. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold I didn't get that to them now. But this is what they ask for. Cardi B follows me. Little Kim knows me. The whole Kardashians be saying per on, on Instagram and Twitter. No, they don't Come speak. Now. All the celebrities in the world way. Not saying that I'm bragging about that because I don't even, Cardi B can tell you, I don't inbox her anything. Maybe a words of encouragement once in a blue thousand moons. But right. I don't have any celebrities. Because you know why? I don't want a handout. When it's time for that label to sit next in front of me and say, I want to sign you, I'm going to say, uh uh-uh, no, you don't. I need, I need 50, 50 million. And I need, I need a house not in Calabasas because it's going to go on the water soon. I need a house in D.C. with a basement. And I need security guards from my house. What I'm trying to say is, J.C. had me fucked up. They all got me fucked up. And it's time to do what, fans? Wake them up. But her. With the fur. Now listen, speaking of Beyonce, um, it, 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 it's so crazy how this national just flow. Um, yeah, now, you feel the realness, right? I feel the realness. Do you feel it? Are you are you having an experience with Perry Paper right now? Per Mr. Paper, is that I'm telling you, this is I'm a Virgo. I speak the truth. I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh my god, like right. That's for them yeah. bitches over there, not for me. Yeah, I feel you. Hey, listen, listen, now, nah, like I said before, you don't even understand. Go ahead and take that sip. Go ahead and take, take that sip of that hand no. <laughs> that hand no. That hand no. Now, look, <laughs> now, look now, now, speaking of Beyonce, I got to ask you this right here. Um, how did you get the Ivy parts of, like, like sit from Beyonce? Like, how did that, like, how did that transpire? How did that come about? Like, how did that work? Because so, um, you know what's hard, I cut you off, I'm sorry. But you know what's hard? Like people live on the website ready for her to drop some shit just so they can get it. 
We are Ivy Park is where you can get the Beyonce merch for one. We are Ivy Park. Shout out to y'all, by the way. Um, and my Beyonce status have um the boy the man Ty I love him so much. Anyway, um getting past that Ty Ty that we we know I did. Um get in the box. It wasn't easy, but it wasn't hard either. It's all about, it's, it's not what you say, as well, y'all, how you say. And what I'm trying to say is this. I can't get into ultimate details as to what we're trying to stop. But Big Mouth Media, if you press rewind, 2019, I said this in my mouth. And everybody said, you crazy. You running around here speaking on people's names, don't know these bitches, and drag me through the mud. On the voice call, my ex said the same thing. Drag me, and he, you know what I did? I hushed. I was quiet. I didn't say nothing. I did me. I was ridiculed by the media. I was talked about. I was dragged. People wanted to kill me and wish death on me. But guess what? We're here now, and, oh, no. and, 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 and boom. And Talk to the Starships is meant to fly. So, <laughs> so what I'm trying to say is, when Beyonce sent me that box, it was the most exciting thing in my life because she had to clarify. And Beyonce know what I'm talking about because she's a Virgo. She know we talking about. It's a Virgo, yeah. Her birthday is, is September the 4th, not September the 5th, okay? Per. I'm so, now. What I'm trying to say is that the connection was already there. And when we when we finally show the world what we need to show the world, it's all going to make sense. That's what I'm saying. Per. That's real spirit. That's real spirit. I, hey, look, listen. I'm glad I was able to get that exclusive. Um, That's because, exclusive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because really, though, I, I, like, honestly, I do my homework. Like, in every interview. That like Bill Kim said, you got to do your homework. You got to do your homework. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta do your homework. So look, with, 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 with all of this right here going on, right, what goals are you trying to achieve when it's all said and done? It's never gonna be said and done. That's number one. I um, think it's never because... Even, I, I, no, 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 I like that approach. I like that. I, that's another way of thinking. I like that. When you go meet whoever you want to meet, I don't know what religion people believe in, but whenever you leave this earth, you leave a legacy, whether it was good, bad, even if it was a one-year-old baby, which we just lost a one-year-old baby, and we lost a one-year-old baby in D.C., and it was very sad, not as, I'm gonna make it, oh my God, it was very sad, but he left a legacy, that baby left a legacy, and he told a lot of people to value your kids and value your life because you just never know right. when the time is. That baby taught a lot of people things. And um, I heard his funeral, I wish I didn't get a chance to stream, was a very big funeral. But getting back to what you were saying, um, it's all about what you put out there and um that's real that's real it's never going to be said and done at all michael jackson just got out of a lawsuit on the on the shave room not with the shave room but it was on the shave room uh -huh. and um michael jackson just got you know his family just got a hundred million dollars off the um hbo for filming a documentary on some bullshit so when them people try to eat off your name in certain ways and not give you your residuals or try to, you know, I'm sorry, I'm make an empty tissue. Yeah, 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 somebody give us some tissue. Go ahead, give us some tissue right now. I need some tissue. I'm sorry, friend. I, I promise you. It's he, all good. He's running until he gets tissue. Papers look crazy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, look. Customer service is everything, though. I, I'm, I, if I don't hold nothing to this media company, is to make sure that we provide great customer service. But I, like I said, I appreciate you again for coming on the platform and sharing the exclusive with us. So, um, you know, it's all about what you put out there. My election's coming off. It's all about what you put out there. Um, like I said, 
So it would never be said and done. And they try to tarnish this man, Michael Jackson's name. And so now we see what we need to see and love wins everything. Love wins, that's real. That's yeah. real, that's real. Next question. Yeah. Hey, look, now, I got to ask you this right here. Now, I know, you know what I'm saying, you you, you and Aunt Glizzy, you know what I mean? Y'all y'all been going back and forth. We got to talk about this. That boy. I'm ass. a direct right now, Big Mouth Media. That boy. Ass. What's the dynamics with that right there? I know you said you, there ain't nobody messing with Aunt Glizzy. I seen on the live. Like, how y'all relationship far as, like, you know, just working the move together? Or do y'all got something coming up, maybe? Because you guys both get a lot of views and a lot of everything. (laughs) 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 Hey, look, we live, though. We so live. We be lit, boy. Listen, at Gazi resurrected from the motherfucking dead. They try to tarnish this man's reputation and his name, but so did Aunt. Aunt, you're not innocent. Aunt tried to do the same thing to other people, including myself. Boom. Me and Aunt got into tour back in 2015. Okay. It's probably still on YouTube, I don't know. Um, Aunt Lizzie came to me over me defending Shark Lizzie because at that point, Shark was the king of DC, which he still lives in my eyes, but um Okay. And I said this on Big Love Media last year, huh? And he's still the king of DC because I don't want that title. You can keep it. I don't want you to do that. Okay. Right, 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 right. I'm trying to live. I'm in Montana and I'd be uptown sometime, but bitch, I'm not the king. Listen, okay? Mm-hmm. And resurrected from the dead man and had beef. But that was back in 2015. I was what? I was 18, 19. My lace friend listening, y'all. It's crazy. But I'm gonna her. Listen, and you watching this? Big talk per. What I'm trying to say is, Aunt came back from the dead. We had already beef. We we got past it and all that good stuff. Um, worlds was exchanged. But as you get older, you look back and be like, damn, I said all that, and I'm pretty sure he felt the same way. Like, I ain't have to cheat on nobody like that. He said some mean things to me, and I said some mean things to him. What the fuck? It's some DC man. We big on everybody. That's what he has. Big TV. Ha <laughs> ha. Shout out to Come on B- now. Uh huh. <laughs> I like the and stuff, y'all. I like that. I like that. Hey, look, we gonna have to get a drop tonight. We gonna have to get that and more. <laughs> per Mr. Capers, per. But let's give me two more minutes on air. Talk to Gonna get him some. Uh, I gotta set the record straight on something too. Y'all had and fucked up. Um. I embarked at two years ago, back in 2018. I said, I apologize. But he didn't see it. He never looked at it. Uh, you know, and he's a busy man. And he probably don't even, even want to respond to gay people. But not saying that he got anything towards the gay people. Because Aunt loves, not loves in that kind of way. So don't take that like that, y'all. This man is straighter than straight, okay? He won't even fuck with a faggy if you gave him a million dollars, okay? My thing is, and respect and lives people who respect and live him. He's a Pisces. It's my mother Pisces, my brother Pisces, my niece of Pisces. What I'm trying to say is, Ant never responded to me. So he don't be in my DMs or none of that. The thing was this. Um, I wanted to do a, a, a song with Ant back in 2018 when I was still rising as Ant wow. and Ray. Never responded. Recently he showed me love and it, um, and a laugh because somebody in the comments was a, a thick page or something was like, uh, something about Ronald Ray. He gay as shit. And Anne was like, I fuck with Ronald Ray. Ronald Ray, he he cool with his sexuality. He we know what Ronald Ray likes. Like that's my you know what I'm saying, my dog. He yeah, said yeah. he said he said the whole city rides with Ronald Ray. And I respected that, okay? Cause coming up in 2013, 14, 15, people tried to tear me down. But I was still I rise. Still at motherfucking rise. Absolutely. And so, um, what happened was, Aunt is now in a space right now, he's in a comfortable space. Davey Ruffin, um, get him, oh, yeah, get all them on here. But Davey Ruffin, um, all those comedians, a pad, I like pad, but they all got into him. One thing I don't like is, you don't disrespect nobody's mother. 
because I didn't see Barber outside. I used to live downtown over the top of the Walmart in DC. Barber, Barber do what she do. She grown. She she older. She been here done that. We know how Barber be acting crazy. Barber would tell you she act crazy, and Barber would smack the shit out you with a bottle. Okay. <laughs>
how about this then? Can, can we play a little game right now? Yeah. Are you ready to play this game? Mm hmm. Are you sure you're ready to play this game? <laughs> Look, if Michael Mads are the vocal just doing any second, I'm going to have to fuck him up. So tell Michael Jason, whatever else, like, you know, Friday me we game be playing because the wheelchair is coming. Okay, okay, bet. So this is it. The name of this game is mm or ah. You can't mm -hmm. say mm and you can't say ah. Mm -hmm. You have to name five things and I'm going to give you ten. Can I win? You owe me Chipotle. Say no more. Uh, Chipotle gift card was ten dollars in my cash app. Not now, when I needed the most, unexpectedly, I'm gonna say I'm hungry. Oh, e listen, listen. On oh, everything I love, I got your Chipotle coming if you win. And then lose. What do you, what's the thing? Right, now, if if you lose, you have to go live with me. Okay. For a whole week straight. Oh, that's easy. I like that. I like that. Look, he's a heavy hitter. I said she probably he said that. But look, I like that, y'all. Let's do this motherfucking game. Let me sit him down. Are you ready? Ready, set, go. All right, here we go. So look, you got 10 seconds. You can't say um and you can't say ah. But you have to name five teams that Michael Jordan played for. Ten seconds, go! Roland Ray, uh, DC, Wizards, Chicago, Nixon, Lakers. That's five. All right. Now, I think that you, you, you got about four seconds, three, two, and one. You had about three right. You missed it by two, which is okay. <laughs> you want me to say that those two were so bad and I'm not going to say it. Are you crazy, boy? Oh, I win. I'm the winner. Yay. Running race. My fans, you see how we do this? We don't play with these people out here. <laughs> Sure. All the way for the win. I got you on the Chipotle. I, sure. I like that. Say no more. Say no more. But I will say this right here, Roller Ray. Like I, I, and I really truly mean this right here. Um, just watching your journey. You know what I'm saying? Watching, you know, um, just different obstacles. Um, even just the courageousness that you have. Like even uh, for Black Lives Matter. Like you, you was right there, front line. Um, I seen that, and I thought to myself, I said, yo, like, I don't care what nobody say, though, like, you went out there, and you, you represented, like, you represent, not only for, like, like, Black Lives Matter, but you also, like, represented for, like, people that, that got, that has a disability, you know what I'm saying, to know that they have a voice. Um, do you want to speak on that? I actually do. Um, thank you for acknowledging that. That was a great time in my life. I didn't come to pay with those officers. Okay, because what they did to George Floyd was so terrible. I didn't like nothing about it. Um, DC police know better. Okay, and if you're a police officer watching this, I will fuck you up. Gun, no gun. We coming at you. My friends, they will smack the shit out of you if you come at them like that in DC. Don't pay that here. Or the murder over there. Murder, I ain't forget about y'all. Don't think I be just talking and I don't acknowledge y'all. I'm from the DMV. So it's like Merlin, I love y'all, but you y'all. But back to the question. Um, when I went out there that day, I had to give this person and gave. I didn't know so many dudes because nowadays, if you're gay, a straight dude don't even look at your page. And so I didn't go out there to get looked at by straight dudes or by new people or new things because I risked everything that night. Uh, for one, I could have got killed that night. I could have got locked up. Could have got arrested. I'm many people face. It's the one officer to lose his crew, and I'm on the ground. But guess what? I was gonna get the fuck back up. <laughs> but my thing is, what I'm trying to say is that I went out there for every disabled person, every able person, and ultimately it put them people in check. I don't give a fuck about all this activism shit. 
I go out there off of respect. I am the act and the victim. I go out there to give a person to engage, and I'm, I'm all about right or wrong. And in this synopsis, the police has been acting crazy lately. So crazy meant what? Crazy. And I went out there and I showed them that we have to respect our colored people. We have to respect Hispanics. We have to respect Ethiopians, Chinese Ethiopians, all those Ethiopians. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm the Ethiopians. Ricky. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say, y'all? I'm tired. <laughs> take a shot. We're going to take a shot in the back. 42? What's that? Am I saying 42? How you know? Let me tell you something. I had that on my birthday one time. The color is it, so rich. And, 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 and I blacked out. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Yo, that's yo. Listen, that's that's live and direct. This is definitely nineteen point. That's crazy. I'm a like, Come on, man. Look, look, look. I ain't playing around with a twenty twenty one. We going to another level, right? Let's take the shot real quick. Ah, uh, oh, let me get that. Wow. I'm gonna drink this with you. Roll the rain. Sure. You are now inducted to the Big Mouth Media Hall of Fame. I'm putting you up there. You in there. You completely all the way in there. Don't let nobody let you know otherwise. You're in a wheelchair right there, y'all. You heard it from Mr. Papers himself. Sure. And guess you know. Anybody else coming into Big Mouth Media, have respect, okay? When you come in this motherfucking interview, with this motherfucking building, you answer questions correctly. If they, if they tell you we need to know about this, tell them out there. Well, guess what? They're here to help you. Except the big mouth motherfucking media. Y'all heard it first, man. Woo!